Show you how to uh, properly use this steering stem removal tool. What we have is this threaded adjuster so that we can take out these lock nuts on our triple trees here on our suspensions. So this is, uh, to my knowledge, always just a standard thread removal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this to the steering stop because I know I'm going to go in this direction and that lets me stabilize. Let's uh, make sure you're seeing the steering stop down here. Make sure that no wires or anything are going to get caught in here. You know, you have to be thinking about what you're doing there. Be careful. So here's where people get into trouble on this. Um, you have a square edge right here. Okay, a nice square edge. And we're going into a nice square edge on here, hopefully. Sometimes you guys are going to see these where they're rounded. That's where somebody took like a chisel and a punch and basically beat it off that way. That's a very common way that people remove these is just putting a, a punch in here and punch it off. This tool is not very expensive. I'd recommend this professional way to do it. So we're trying to, I'm going to make it wrong here. We're trying to get this edge where it's square in here. Okay, where people get into trouble is they do this. They aren't watching. They're not paying on uh, attention. Get, let's get the camera up here where someone can get into trouble. If, if you're working up like this, okay, and you can't see because you don't have a flashlight or you're not working from above, are you making assumptions that you're square edge to square edge? Yep. Yep. So do you get what I'm saying? Get up on the left and... You know, work from this direction or lower the lift or do something so that you can see what you're doing. Okay? The idea of this tool is also so that you can do adjustments when the bike is fully assembled. Okay? So we're going to get a feel for it here. So I said this is incorrect. And what I want is I want to... Okay, so I've got a good amount of meat right here. I'm good and square. I'm against the steering lock here, and then I can go ahead, and if needed, I can reset. I'm going to check myself, because is there a possibility that the next one's been punched off? Yep. Yep. And then I go ahead and get it apart. Now, on installation, obviously, we've got the same thing going on here, and here's what's cool about this tool. Go to the other steering lock. Look at what we got. A 3H drive. So now we can put a torque wrench in here because there's a torque spec in the manual for this. This is a whole other procedure to watch in our video for how you how you properly get the you know get this fixed. You can see this one. See, so got a problem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put some new bearings in that. So if I'm gonna put a torque wrench on any type of extension, what was that angle? Do I just have the torque wrench here, here? 90 degrees. I want to put that torque wrench here. That'll cancel out this extension. I can go to the 22 pounds or whatever it is. And life is good.